Kia ora koutou, I'm Ryan Ashton, your host for Tech Week TV, and today we have the 4.30pm session, this is the last of the day, with our team from the Media Design School, and they're going to introduce themselves in a moment and give you a little bit of background to themselves, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop them in at a little bit, so we have what, the Brotown Senior Animator, I think you're going to correct me and tell me, the, and one of the... Um, original game designers in terms of the car racing games. So if you play car racing, I think on PlayStation you mentioned, um, then we've got some real amazing talent here to talk about what it takes to get into creative technologies and how it's not just about whether you can draw or not, but everything else that goes around it. So let's start off. Who's going to go first? Introduce yourself, give us a bit of that background, and then tell us about what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, well, tell for everyone. My name is Ali Cowley, and um, yeah, I'm a art tutor at Media Design School. Um, yeah, so I'm a, my background is in uh, animation, but I love drawing, and so Ryan's saying that uh, you don't just need uh, you know, art skills too, but I'm, I love teaching that kind of stuff, so yeah, I'm here to, to argue against his <laughs> question he's asking. So yeah, that's me. Hi, um, I'm Tammy Leong, originally from Malaysia, but I moved to New Zealand 10 years ago. It's a bit of story behind. Um, I was in Malaysia developing games, mainly car racing games, as what um, is mentioned. Um, it was PS1, PS4 at that time, but life moved on and I went to New Zealand and design kicked in and now I'm teaching design at Media Design School at the Bachelor of Media Design School degree yeah. program. Excellent. So, question for you first and then we'll come back to Ali. Um, in terms of what you're teaching now at Media Design School, could you give us a little bit more detail and imagine that people that are watching have got no idea about this stuff, so you're talking to someone who's got yeah, no idea rather than someone who knows a little bit about it. So Bachelor of Media Design degree program, uh, we specialise a lot on, I'm uh, going to throw a bit of names first, and interactive graphic design and motion design, and what do they actually mean? Interactive designs are like mobile applications, uh, anything with screens that you touch, gestures, motion design, anything that moves in your social media, TikTok videos, and um, graphic design is something to do with branding, marketing, but visual elements within those aspects. Yeah. Cool. And coming back to you, Ali, um, if you can come back to a bit of your background, oh, okay. um, you know, tell us about the background, Al. Oh, okay, so I was telling Ryan earlier, but um, I was the animation director for Brotown, um, but it wasn't an easy road, guys. I was like, um, I started from the bottom, uh, working as a cleanup artist. And if you don't know what a cleanup artist is, it's not someone who does the dishes or anything like that. It's uh, someone who takes drawings and, and tidies them up so that the next uh, part of the process is coloring it up. So yeah, anyway, uh, I was doing that for a while um, in my first year at Brotown, and um, uh, the animation director saw that um, yeah, I was pretty good. So they promoted me to um, uh, assistant animation director, and unfortunately, he left, and so I actually became the animation director. So that's my uh, <laughs> kind of uh, my way into the into that industry. So yeah, and before that, I was just really into art, and I did a lot of uh, did a like um, animation course. So yeah, that's kind of my passion is drawing, and I just yeah. like to draw. Yeah, I think it's so cool, and it's uh, I think it's important to share um, because hopefully there's a, a bunch of rangatahi out there watching and going, oh. Oh, yeah, I know that. And now they're starting to relate to you and what we're going to talk about in this whole session. And just coming back to it, as I mentioned off screen, I used to be an art director and advertiser yeah. before I got into tech. Um, and <laughs> I can't, I wouldn't say that I can draw so well now, but I used to love drawing. And all through my old school, there's um, pictures of rugby scenes drawn on desks. <laughs> yeah, sorry, school, that was me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, teachers. Yeah. So um, coming back to what, make you, what, what made you decide to pursue a career in creative technologies? We go back beyond, before Brotown, before PS1 and PS4, where did you start? What was the journey? So we'll start with you, Tammy. Okay. Um, I think back then there were no games degree or animation degree. I just remember the vague memory of Sunday morning watching my brothers playing Nintendos, you know? Yeah. And the, I never had a chance to get a hold of that controller, you know what I mean? Um, I really love the narrative of those games um, and also cartoons and Sunday morning. Um, but mom say, hey, you should try programming if you want to get into games at that time. So I did programming for one year. Didn't like it. I'm not a coder. Fair Things doesn't make sense in my head in that way. Um, 
And then a friend of mine said that you should try going to a film and animation school. Yes, they did a lot of drawings, figure drawings, 20 piece a week, very traditional. Um, but I think that path just lead me back to games, yeah. even though after graduate, yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, thank you, because um, I think back to some of the things, the documentaries I've seen you know, back in the early days of uh, Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney, you know, and they're drawing the, the circles, and you talked about being a clean-up artist, and I yeah. could actually envis envisage, yeah, someone does, like, the concept, and then they go, yep. you yeah, make it look I good, the and then the next person colours it in, yeah. So what about yourself, Ali? What, did you, what was your sort of... Uh, path into it in the oh, early days. What okay. um, got you involved? Oh, cool. um, so yeah, I'm going to take you way back to the old school. And uh, <laughs> uh, i tell you that um, before uh, well, school, I just did a lot of my art subjects and uh, I really enjoyed art. I was really, really shy. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of you uh, introverts out there that um, find it hard to con connect with things. But because, just like Tammy and Ryan, I love watching cartoons, especially Scooby-Doo. Uh, oh, yeah. And I just would always go home and watch uh, cartoons. But um, my journey from there was um, just being in a place that I would enjoy, which is doing art. Um, but it was just uh, when I left school, I was looking for the next thing to do, like which to come to study. Um, but I went overseas and did an OE, and I ended up being um, so. This is yeah. this is your fault. You asked me the stuff, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I went and did um, dancing um, uh, overseas, and I worked in a chicken farm. So dancing, as in like I was a hip hop dancer, so not yeah. a stripper. Or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, but I missed home and I missed my creative side, but I, I did do creative things like dancing. But when I came back, I went to animation school and mm. it's my love for art and, I just, and later on in my career, I just thought about, I would like to do art through my community and culture. So it leads, leads me to where I am now because I teach in a Bachelor of Creative Technologies at MDS. Yeah. And so just through that opportunity, I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge in the past that I've brought through into creative technology and I love filmmaking, so I've directed a short film documentary through Loading Docs called uh, Meet Munch Jr. And it's about my son who's on the spectrum. So uh, watch it, watch it, and please watch it and, uh, you know, and, yeah. and please share it because it's about autism awareness. But from there, um, all my skills have come into where I am now and I'm, I'm looking into areas like uh, virtual production, I was telling you before, yeah. um, and that kind of uh, creating games through game engines. Um, that's only because by default, I'm just teaching at the school that has amazing technology, and it's just given me the opportunity to, you know, expand. So yeah, that's that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> cool. Well, I like that you use that word expand. And if I, you know, take in what you've just shared about those steps from one, two, three, four, and there have been many of them, but each time, yes, it sounds like an expansion from where you were before. Yeah. And um, you made a comment before, Tammy, that um, I think is um, memorable. You didn't like coding. Yeah. My brain didn't take the information or use information Not, that way. Yeah, it doesn't make uh, sense to And me. the message is that re you know, regardless of um, sort of what roles are out there, uh, it's what you're passionate about. And you, you people oh, will pursue their passion. So if we're thinking about that, um, what skills or qualities do you need to be in the creative tech space? You know, for people feeling, I have this passion, but I don't quite know what it is, you might help them um, identify it through what you share around what qualities are good for yeah. creative tech. I think creative tech, let's, let's look at this two word, right? Creative, obviously you need ideas. Um, it's very important you have story to tell in the first place. You can't just fiddle around with the technology and have nothing to talk about. In the first place, why we love cartoons and, and all these um, yeah, Disney cartoons, it's also because of stories. I think that itself is very important. But on top of this, you have to be very adaptable, um, means we have to think in the mindset that devices like mobile phone, computers, or cameras, um, they come and go, they change very fast. You have to pick up um, what is trendy, but with a sense of I'm able to integrate step by step what, what story I want to tell in here. Like what Ali was talking about, you know, I have this story I want to mention. Now we have this new tool with virtual reality. How can I tell the story in that aspect? I think that, that is the most important attitude in the first place, yeah. yeah. And what would you add to that, Ali? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I'm all about the story. Um, a narrative within uh, whatever your medium that you want to share your story through is, uh, yeah, it's important to have a story. I mean, everything I do is about um, what the co-papa is or what um, you know the mission statement of yeah. of that project. Um, I made I've made a um, uh, an, an app with. Um, 
collaboration with my auntie, and she's uh, a researcher. Uh, her name is Dr. Tafa Esther Cowley Malcolm, and along with her and a few kids with um, Dr. Sally Mary at uh, Auckland University, we like, I wouldn't, this is me as a guy from South Auckland, yeah. just meeting up with researchers and making the app, cool. um, and um, art directing it and looking at user interface, uh, UX, like, you know, from coming from, oh, not even now to, you know, you're making all these decisions like that. It's just like, uh, it's really the, crazy. The expansion. Yeah, it's yeah, the expansion, expansion of, uh, but I'm still the same guy, you know. Yeah. Oh, but it's just that, 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 that building up of, and, and expanding into, not being scared about expanding too, just about, mm. and going at your own pace, not really uh, thinking it's a big, deep pool where you're jumping at you. Mm. You're just taking people along with you that are supporting you. So. Yeah, thinking about that in the journey. Yeah. So I think your two words work really well together if we put expansion and um, adaption together because as you expand, you're adapting um, new things, taking them on board. And I think the underlying thing is that uh, you're always um, developing your creativeness or being, yes. you're adding your creativeness to it as you yeah. do. Like, you know, working out how to make this app usable oh, um, yeah. from not even our, um, with exactly. everything in between. Uh, and uh, look, I... A few people out there that might know me know I make a few uh, business videos just to sort of, you know, um, but I do a lot of editing to make sure the narrative, you know, you've got, yeah. you want to make it three minutes long and you've got 20 minutes of footage. What do I cut out? What do I keep in? Yeah. And, you know, you, in your mind, you're like, oh, I, that's a really good comment. I'll move that to the front. And this yeah. is, so you, yeah, that um, bringing that story together from all the different pieces is really important. So really good to hear. Thank you very much. Um, now, Besides the work that you do and have done, what other cool roles are there in this bigger world of creative technologies? Are you talking about virtual oh, stuff yeah. before? Yeah, 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 yeah. So expand, expanding. Okay. <laughs> expanding out of my shirt. Um, hey, um, yeah. So um, yeah. So the trends, like, with, if you look into the Mandalorian and how they made that behind the scenes, uh, yeah, it's just it's amazing technology that's um, actually really accessible. Like, if you're talking about game engines. Um, you're looking at going into a game engine, and it, the game engines now are made for that kind of production. So VR production is like it's still all the trend at the moment. But for me, my buy-in to that is that it's a story again. It's about my culture. I want to bring my culture through there, and I'm planning to do some. Well, I am doing some research on making a, a short film in Unreal Engine. And so that's the opportunities that our filmmakers out there are finding it hard to find their own. Uh, funding and that kind of stuff is that if you can be an independent filmmaker by using technology um, and that's like free technology it's like free if you didn't know that Unreal is actually free oh, wow. yeah. yeah you can actually you know so make your own do you, I think it might be them or um, it could be the alternative brand uh, because there's Unity as well but I think it's yes, Unreal Engine that have the Epic Grants yes there's a Mega Grants out there that Mega Grants you, yeah yeah, yeah. If, you, if you apply for that um, but you, you it's you have to look into it, guys. So yeah, this yeah, is one yeah. thing I want to leave with you too: is research. So mm. research, research. Um, look into that because um, it not only just um, arms you with a lot of information, but it gives you the confidence to mm. then, then look even further and expand. And that's what mm. it's all about. So yeah. yeah, absolutely. And also, I would take another spin, and not just in film. Like as a designer, you got to work with people like scientists or even in the tech prisons where they are technologists, we are creative technologists, and what do they mean? They probably are programmers that I couldn't compute, <laughs> and I get to work with them, or people who are psychologists, and why I say this, because if you just look at simple mobile app applications, or even installation in a museum, um, you're not the only person doing all the tech, you know, visuals and graphics, but you also work with um, archaeologists, you work with filmmakers, sure. you work with a lot of storytellers from different perspectives, that you are the person making visuals and things coming alive, right? So I would put in a way that as a designer, you're the person assembling all this information mm. into a tech platform. So it is quite a very in exciting uh, space to be in, I think, um, in creative tech. You don't just work with yeah. designers themselves. I can add on yeah. to Tammy's, yeah, you've got to collaborate. You can't just think that you're a one-man band. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of people that can help you, um, reaching out to people. Have you ever heard that term, um, uh, you know, work with people uh, who, you know, okay, actually, I forgot the term. What is it? <laughs> compliment. Compliment, compliment you. Yeah. Or know okay. what? I was going to say, faster alone, further together. That's yeah. another one. I don't, I don't remember uh, what I was. Uh, mm -hmm. And what was one I heard the other day is that... Um, 
what is it? Uh, uh, something, uh, oh, I can't remember, the, the, the second part is that professionals collaborate. Uh, so ama yeah. oh, amateurs um, something themselves and professionals collaborate. Oh, Definitely. If I could, yeah, remember that one. Yeah, so yeah, 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 on the same boat, that's all right. But just Google it, it should come yeah. up. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, yeah, it's just surround your people with the like-minded people is what I'm trying to yeah, surround yeah. yourself like with the like-minded people. Like because what happens, well, like in the past, that would be, oh, could you help me do this? And then that person would be a little bit selfish, they wouldn't help you, so I'd always gravitate to the people who would help you. So if you can yeah. find those people, um, yeah, that's the that's, right people to be around. That's yeah. the inclusion part of diversity and inclusion. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, being, yeah, being inclusive and helpful and uh, sharing uh, knowledge and information. Because, yeah, yeah, if you can find those like-minded people, yeah. then you'll learn from them, they'll learn from mm. you, you grow yeah. together. You expand together. Yeah, you're yeah, coming a bit of a thing that's expanded and that. And then that's all. Sorry, and so oh. I was going to say that's all the thing about um, open resources, uh, mm. you know, software that you're out there. It's because of that that whole co-papa about. Yeah. yeah, we're learning together. We're going together. And if mm. you if you ever heard the rock say, you know, you bring your family with you, that's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And that's research. Really, yeah. <laughs> so the research. <laughs> the research. Well, talking of research, we're kind of into that space now because I'm going to ask you about what future trends and creative tech uh, do you see coming up? We've already talked about the VR. Yeah. I'm wondering about holographs. Um, but that's, oh, yeah. that's the sort of medium. But what about other things like processes? I don't know, any type of trends. What's, what's happening out there? I think that I don't, can't really talk much about trend, but there's a huge demand in the type of designers out there that could create... Um, experience. So like what I mentioned before, experience here means say you introduce a new technology and people don't know how to approach it or don't know how to use it. And an experience designer is where you come in and design something um, like a product or a usability or a function for allow people to kind of navigate with it. One good example is Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo Switch came out with this really cute um, controllers, right? And we want to know how to move it. It's those games that designed that way and allowed you to kind of navigate those controllers. Absolutely. That is a huge space right now for people to innovate experience. Yeah. Mm. Well, so funny story. I mentioned before we come on screen um, when those Wii came out um, <laughs> and I hadn't used them before and our friends had them for a long time. We're doing the boxing match and I was doing the real boxing, like real boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, wasn't really aware, but they were just t tilting their wrists and they were beating me in the game. Uh, so I didn't realise it wasn't actually about doing the real thing. It was about tilting it um, and making the, the controllers move. It's so a great example of it's a great example of how um, understanding how to use the apparatus makes a difference to it. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, what's the uh, Facebook one now where it's the cordless VR set and the hand controls? Uh, I was yes. playing um, Darth Vader lightsaber yeah. game with it. And that was my first experience. That so is one of the design, uh, experience designers that you know, come up with maybe an idea like that. How do we make people get into this platform? Yeah. How do we make people learn about this platform? You know? It's a huge space in there. I think it's upcoming. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you, Ali? Any well, more on trends? Trends? Anything cool um, happening? Well, I can tell you it's from my Polynesian community. Um, it's in film, though, but it's uh, it's about um, uh, stories being in, you know, the trend is, well, the trends for I can see is that uh, new shift in the paradigm is the, you know, Pacifica storytelling. Mm. Cool. And then that's, it's just happened recently. And it's, um, it's amazing for me to see, like, uh, you know, old uh, stories passed down to us from our ancestors uh, now being made, uh, you know, available to, to watch and to take, you know, look at different points of view yeah. of the people telling it. So that's, that's, that's a big change for me that I've seen in a long, long time. I only ever heard of this stuff, but seeing it visually. Yeah. Um, and inside there is obviously there's things um, that, there's a new one that's out that I've seen now. It's called Tainisa. Um, and it's, it has some CGI in it. So that's another thing that I haven't seen in Pacifica film. So, uh, you know, storytelling is that kind of thing. So there's a trend in our community, um, if you're talking about yeah, cool. Well, I, I really that. look forward to that because I guess from my perspective, um, yes, I know the stories of Maui and uh, Maori mythology, um, but I haven't heard a lot about Pacific yeah, Island. But really there's a, a um, teacher down um, South Auckland, David Riley, who's yes, the Reed, so you know, the Reed yeah. Warrior? Yeah, so he did a series of books that were the um, Pacific Island superheroes. Yeah. Um, and I've got a couple of copies for, for friends, oh, awesome. children. And that's, that gave me the, the inkling, like, yeah, we haven't heard about them yet. So it's almost like there's big, yeah. there's big blockbuster movies waiting to come out of, uh, oh, of that space. So come on. 
Let's yeah, get yeah. organised. Don't worry, I'm coming with. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, um, what advice would you give to young people considering a career in creative tech? Would you like to go? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, like, um, yeah, just whatever your passion is, um, you know, embrace, you know, the technology. Um, if you're a young person, if you're an older person, it doesn't matter how old you are, um, just find that support, find that the like-minded people, um, you know, start the conversation. And that's the main thing is start the conversation. If you don't start the conversation, how will we ever know? That um, it could be for you, like it could, it totally is for you. But if you don't talk to people, and mm. like I've been, like I already said before, I was quite quiet. I never used to say mm. much to people. But when I started sharing my ideas, like one person would be would like hear that, you know, and then say, "Oh, who'd you into this?" And who'd you into that? And now that social media is around, you just put out these <laughs> little posts on your art page. Ali Kali is my inspiring, by the way. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We'll put, it in, we'll put it in the yeah, text, no problem. No, yeah, no, no. okay, hook us up. Um, yeah, but you know, that's the thing is then, then someone goes, oh, well, we're looking for this. And so I've done like little sketches of things and I've gotten myself jobs just by uh, putting myself out there and just making the effort to, you know, put myself out there. So just awesome. do it, just do it, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say, including myself actually and my students and even people I work with, um, the word failure is, it's not important. Um, what I'm trying to say is that try things. Be brave, try. If you're thinking about, oh, I want to make a game right now, jump into Unity, do something. Go to Makey Makey, try something. Google a lot of software out there for you to do anything. It's so possible now. Try. Nothing is a failure. Even though if no one responds to what you're doing, it's OK. Keep reaching out, because the more you try, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you discover possibilities. I was just gonna. Uh, sorry, I'll just show you this. Like, I'm I, with my limited knowledge and um, <laughs> can, we, can we zoom I'm in promoting, on this? promoting myself. Please. Uh, I went to a conference with. Um, yeah, and so we had a big conference in 2016. Yeah. Hey, we're, nice. Yeah, we're right in there now. Yeah. Thank you for the smudge. Um, Thank you, Prince. <laughs> so this is made this in Unity, and with my limited knowledge of. Um, of uh, Unity, I made this comic with the, with yeah, the, with the help of a friend, and this is the former head of state of Samoa that. Um, I put in the whoops, sorry. Mm. Um, but it's got a little bit of animation. It's just it talks about the ceremony, the other ceremony that we have. So it's a bit of culture, but it's uh, it's the it's the new wave of how to present things. So this is just a little yeah. little tester. But here, let me show you. This is how we um, pay respects to ancestors. Oh my gosh, this is hard to. Poof. Where's the tick in the? Okay. So That's all right. Tips, you, got it, you got it. Yeah. And then this guy does a little sip of the ava. This is part of our ceremony. So all I'm right. just this. I made this as a like a. Proof of concept, and already shown it to some people. What I thought, and so there's. Yeah. Well, I think you might have shown it to a few more people now. <laughs> that was awesome. Just no, no, that's Something cool. Because that, that's what gives people out there um, a real idea, you know. Mm. And yeah. um, you know, you, that's your personal world that's my personal being <laughs> um, shared through Unity. Yeah, that's yep. Unity. Yeah, but I'm yeah. 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 unreal. No, so. Oh, and I'm real. Sorry, yeah. unreal. Crazy. So yeah. I couldn't ever do that ages ago. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, it's been um, really fascinating. Like I. One of the things that's really impressed upon me um, is the attitude of give it a go, you know. Yeah. Yeah. From from once upon a time, shy, quiet, as you said totally yourself, shy. through to being a bit more outgoing, asking and, and enjoying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anytime, you're more than welcome. Um, uh, no, well, I just think there's a, I think there's a, a lot of talk around, um, you know, uh, wanting to see someone uh, that looks like me in that space. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there isn't, no matter what you look like. You know, we have now 226 ethnicities in New Zealand. It's more than likely that there's not going to be someone that looks like you in that space. Mm. So we've got to have the courage to give it a go, like you were talking about, Tammy, to start. And don't be worried about failure. It's not failure, it's just a lesson. And to, you know, even if you just start quietly, then build up and build up and build up. Yeah. Secret stuff. Yeah. Secret stuff. It's never a secret. <laughs> so, so I'm going to give you a moment to think about it while I do a quick little summary here because I'm going to ask you for your closing remarks to share with everybody. So I'll just summarise some of the stuff that we've been talking about. So first of all, we, we learnt who these two wonderful people are, um, some of their professional backgrounds in terms of uh, Brotown, uh, um, head of animation, and a uh, K-Racing gaming design, uh, developer, designer, um, going back into the P1, P4 zone. 
uh, before coming to New Zealand and are now both uh, obviously lecturers at the Media Design School here in Auckland, New Zealand, um, talking about what does it take to pursue a career, what are some of the qualities and things that you need, and they talked about mindset, um, about uh, the curiosity, I'll ask you curiosity, but that was sort of what I was thinking about what you're talking about. Um, but to, to really give it a go and to ask questions, collaborate, and be, find your like-minded friends that are going to share and talk, etc. Um, to where we're now at the point where I'm going to ask you to share your closing remarks with everybody. What would you say to young people that are thinking, ooh, I might give that a go? How do I, how, what do you say to them about creative technologies? <laughs> Persistence. Keep going. Consistency gets you somewhere. Brilliant. And Ali? Oh, uh, yeah, um, just, yeah, I think, I, I don't know, eh? I don't know what to say, just besides, um, just take your family with you. Yep. No, that's really yeah, cool. Support. It's support. important. Support yeah. is important. Yeah. Yep. And wrapped in with everything both of you have shared throughout the session, um, what was your one that I liked? I didn't like coding, my mind didn't uh, take information in that way, so you went to design, and <laughs> your one was expansion, you know? Yep. Take one step after the other, expand. Yeah, so nice I want to say thank you very much. We'll wrap it up there and say kaki te to everybody out there. Um, been a pleasure having you here at AUT as part of Tech Week uh, TV for Tech Week 2020, what? 2021. <laughs> we've, yeah, we've come on a year since last year. Uh, so once again, thank you for your time and effort, and also thank you for being a festival part, uh, advocate partner from the Media Design School. Oh, you're most Thank welcome. you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank, Thank you. you.